Hey guys, Jeff Teela here. Welcome to Cut and Cook, where I show you an iconic knife, which in this case is a Chinese cleaver, an iconic Asian dish, uh, which is tom kha gai, or coconut chicken soup, and all the secrets it takes to put it all together. Let's do it. All right, so we're starting with the Shun Chinese cleaver, and we're always going to execute the pinch grip. Thumb and index uh, on the blade, three behind. Let's do this. For lemongrass, I'm taking two inches off the root side, about four inches off the tip, peel, and then slice into thin slices. For galanga, no need to peel it, make sure it's clean. Slice into thin slices so you get enough surface area for soup stock. I'm just smashing the peeled garlic cloves to release their flavor. Thai lime leaves just need to be roughly chopped to extract the flavor. I'm just separating the shemeji mushrooms from the root base. You can use any mushroom you want. I like to roll my lime to get as much juice out of them as possible. I cut the cabbage in half, remove the core, and slice thinly. For garnish, I'm just by slicing some green onions and just cutting the tips off cilantro. I love the cleaver because I can use it to pick up all the items I've just chopped. Cut the chicken breast into thin strips and cut it last so you're not having to wash your knife. All Thai soups start with lemongrass, galanga, and Thai lime leaves. I'm adding roasted Thai chilies and garlic to build up even more flavor. You can use fresh chilies if you want. So I'm adding the chicken breasts to start them cooking. Put those mushrooms in. And to season, I'm adding fish sauce, chili paste and soybean oil, coconut milk, and a pinch of sugar. I wanna whisk all these together to combine. Then I'm gonna add my cabbage and finish with lime juice. To top it all off, we're gonna garnish with our scallion and cilantro. And that's how you cut and cook everything you need to make Thai coconut chicken soup or tom kha gai.